Hi, I'm coming to you from my kitchen in Brooklyn, New York. It is still pretty early here, but I have had the opportunity to have a good cup of coffee and a very special time to pray this morning. I am determined to end this year on a note of gratitude. Gratitude for life, gratitude for my family, and gratitude for FOR. I don't feel the need to list all of the reasons and circumstances. This has been a very difficult year. But I pray that if you have experienced loss, that you will be kind and tender with yourself. And I pray that if you have had a measure of joy, that you will share that joy with other people. In loss and in joy, I am feeling a deep sense of gratitude and hope because sandwiched in between all of the praying and the crying I have done in this year, I have also spent my days working on the kind of world that I wanna see, working for the kind of world that I know is possible right now. And because of the ways that work has been grounded in the spirit of FOR, I am grateful. I wanna thank all of you who have joined our Thursday afternoon for community calls, for sharing your work with us and for contributing to the work, to the hope that we are building together. I encourage those of you who are looking for community to reach out to us. Let us help you get connected. And for the ways in which you can connect us, I hope that you would do that as well. When faced with a difficult challenge, my ancestors sang this song called Walk Together Children Don't Get Weary. And I believe that's how we will create peace in this country by working together, by walking together, by holding each other up when we get weary. Thanks to technology, we've also had the opportunity to meet weekly with the branches of the International Fellowship of Reconciliation. And I am so thankful for the stories that they have shared with us and the opportunities that we will have to work together on global peace efforts. And I'm looking forward to sharing more of that with you. There really is so much in store for us in the days ahead. I hope that you will check out the work that we're doing with Waging Nonviolence, and I cannot be more excited that we will be naming our first Walter Wink and June Keener Wink fellow very soon. I hope that you will support the Fellowship of Reconciliation, but even more, I hope that you will come and sing Walk Together Children with us. I know that we can manage the twists and the turns in the road ahead if we journey together in fellowship. Please indulge me. Uh, I would love to share one of the prayers um, that was a part of my meditation this morning. Uh, this prayer is inspired by the words and the spirit of a son of Fisk University, W.E.B. Du Bois. Give us thankful hearts, O God, in this season of your grace. May we be thankful for life and health and strength, for sun and rain and challenge, for friends, for family, for the hope of peace. If we have this day, let us seize this day and the opportunities this day brings. Let us strive for that greatness of spirit that measures life not by disappointments, but by possibilities. And let us ever remember that true gratitude and appreciation shows itself neither in independence nor satisfaction, but passes the gift joyfully on in larger and better form. Such gratitude grant us, O oh God. Amen. I'm wishing blessings on you in this new year. Thank you.
is a great complete is a great complete